Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys Shiz here, and I'm back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse News Update. we got a couple new figures to discuss, which is always fun. I always look forward to the really nice press photo solicitations, right? you got a little, little substance to work with, other than a little, little tease, right, that they initially do. What does it come with? Where does it go? Yada yada. It gives you a little bit more uh, to talk about, which is very much appreciated for most of the time today it's going to be mostly dc multiverse with a batman the animated series figure peppered in there and i'll briefly talk about my time at toy fair walking around the mcfarland toys booth now for those of you interested in anything that we're going to be talking about today i will have affiliate links down in the description below and as a new feature for youtube the links will pop up on the screen those will be for target and gamestop mostly if you want amazon and others will just say Entertainment Earth. Those will be down in the description below. So thank you very much for using my links. It definitely helps the channel to grow. So first and foremost, we will be getting Wave Rider. Wave Rider will be a gold label Target store exclusive. And you will probably see this guy coming out, we'll say November-ish, right? Give or take. But... I was initially looking at this figure and I'm going like, I did it. it's obviously they reuse, right? A lot of these gold labels, they they cobble together, right? They, they, they make a new figure out of previously released molds and pieces and whatnot. So I thought it was Black Adam. And then I thought, is it the movie Black Adam? No, it's actually the Batrocitus figure reworked, right? So I'll be honest, for this particular version of Wave Rider, which... I had to go like, oh, oh, that must be a new Wave Rider, fairly new Wave Rider, because I'm very much used to this Wave Rider right here, especially within Justice League Unlimited, right? Mattel did a Wave Rider figure, which was always nice. This particular one, so they're kind of billing this as the third Wave Rider in many ways, and it's actually, to summarize this, timey-wimey, whatever if you want to say, it's Booster Gold as Wave Rider, right? So if you look closely at this new figure, he kind of sort of has that star, kind of sort of, I think they lucked out with some of the lines here. <laughs> but yeah, he does have the star. And let's say this, it, it's supposed to be more of like a, a blue and black, we'll say more so blue. A little bit of blue, I think, would have really made this guy pop. It's black and gold, right? So you got some Sam Sparrow action going on. The head portrait's not bad. The hair is cool. This one, again, for me, because it's not the immediate, like, oh, yeah, that's that's Wave Rider, right? It just kind of goes like, yeah, that's that's interesting. It, it, I'll have to reserve more judgment till I see him in hand. He does come with a couple accessories. He's got fisted hand. He's got the pointer finger hand. And he does have some new effect pieces, which you can clip on to his arms and his legs. And I do appreciate that. And kind of looking at them now, it looks like the flash pieces with some <laughs> extra paint on them. So let's retract that new uh, until I really see it in hand because it kind of looks like both, we'll say. Who knows, right? So again, this is a Target Gold Label exclusive. He is available for pre-order now. Again, does it do much for you? Does it do much for me? Let's talk about it down in the description below. Next up, new figure, Target Gold Label exclusive. Pre-order is available as well. We have from the Wildstorm universe, Midnighter, which, hey, that's not a bad choice. That's actually an interesting choice. A lot more like, oh, uh, Wave Rider, Midnighter. Midnighter. <laughs> I'm going to go more with that, right? Kind of uh, fits a little bit better. He looks cool. He's Batman's in, in, in the Wildstorm universe, kind of, sort of, before they converged. This one is a reuse, recobblization, new parts and pieces Batman Dark Knight Detective. You can really tell because of that their jacket and the boots and whatnot. But he does have new pieces, so that's good. It It is one of those reuses where you can kind of sort of tell, but I'm more so like, okay, yeah, that's that's a that's a good uh, uh, recobblization right there. Not too shabby. The jacket looks good. That's Midnighter. I'm, not, I'm pretty happy with the way that this figure looks. Would he have been benefited more if, uh, if he had more of a grinning, gritty teeth sort of uh, portrait? Maybe an extra head portrait? Sure. Yeah, I would have uh, totally agreed on that. He does come with his uh, Midnighter batons, right? So you can dish out some justice if need be. You got the card in the stand and whatnot. So in terms of Midnighter, Wave Rider, right? A lot of eiders going on. 
Uh, I, I gravitate more towards Midnighter on this one, right? I know I saw some of the comments uh, when I initially posted on my Instagram yesterday. Who knows? Maybe they'll do Apollo, right? For some of you out there <laughs> that wants Apollo. Now, we have uh, some Toy Fair talkings to talk about, right? And Toy Fair was, a, like, I had a blast. Absolute blast. This one was more about the people. I had so much fun seeing people that I know and getting to know a lot more new people, which was even better. A lot more companies stood out because some of the bigger ones were not there. And it was kind of refreshing, to be honest with you, right? And as such, the McFarland Toys booth was a pop, and they had some new reveals, right? This one went up, uh, I think, the day after Toy Fair, something like that. This is the Batman Beyond versus Justice Lord Superman. So I got to see this first and foremost. It was all packaged up, packaged sample. And this is Batman Beyond in his kryptonite suit, just FYI. So this is from the comic books, and it's where he fought the Justice Lord Superman. And the green on this bat suit looks fine, looks great. He's got a little bit of a, a new head portrait. If I'm being honest, because I have not read the comics, he kind of reminds me of the Robert Vance bat suit. Remember when the whole Ghost in the Machine thing took over in that one episode? It's got the green. It kind of looks cool. That's what it totally reminds me of. Justice Lord Superman. You'll know him from the Justice League, Justice League Unlimited cartoon. In many ways, it looks like he's trying to tell us he's got a feeling that he'll be having a wonderful day, right? A la Stan Smith with that jawline and this one is definitely a cobblization of prior release superman figures he's on that superman body which again i'm just not a fan of not a fan of what they did with the boots again he's got the superman boots and they painted over it we gotta stop with that we need some like regular legs and such that we can like swap these things out easy peasy because that's just not doing anyone any favors and it just doesn't look good and yes what he looks like in the press photos yeah he'll largely look like in box so that's good to see he does have those hands the, those superman hands that at this point it's just like yeah it's more of the same this set really does nothing for me other than like okay that's kind of interesting right it's just repaint after repaint and you kind of have to go after a while you're like uh, okay thanks what else you got batman beyond fares a little bit better i did like those batman beyond figures that they did i mean this is probably what the fifth iteration of it we had the ink as batman beyond as well can we get some more batman beyond villains right that would be cool ink and spellbinder we got shriek i'm very happy about shriek that that one that was a good one blight he was more in his comic book costume of course but yeah again the batman beyond he fares a little bit better than the superman right the justice lords superman the head sculpt is new the wings are new how they attach that's all new it's again interesting kryptonite suit he does come with some hands and then he has some interesting looking batarangs it looks like something that robin would have for some reason right so again if you're interested in this the pre-orders are up now it's it's one of those sets where you go like okay i get it i, I see what you're trying to do you're trying to make new characters with existing molds totally get it is it executed well if certain things were swapped or changed out especially with the Justice Lord Superman's legs and the boots and whatnot. Yeah, I'm more inclined to be like, okay, I get it. You know, you have to reuse stuff. But that just looks janky. It, re it really does. It really does no favors for anyone. So, again, if you want it, you can pre-order it now. And if you're interested, uh, here's the barcode for when these eventually hit store shelves. It's not exclusive anywhere. Alfred, on the other hand. Now, this was uh, definitely fun to see on display at Toy Fair. And they definitely had a great display for Batman the Animated Series. I know a lot of people were talking about that. That was fun that they brought that back. For those of you that don't know, DC Collectibles released all of these figures years back, right? And then we all know DC Collectibles, DC Direct folded. It got absorbed in McFarlane Toys in that kind of sense, right? So McFarlane Toys distributes dc direct dc collectibles now so they've brought back some of the old figures including a new figure so they'll feature a build a figure in the form of wave one's condiment king alfred being on display always great right loved seeing him as well i do have more uh info and photos which i can't talks about just now but rest assured 
You'll say Batman the Animated Series fans, you'll be stoked. Superpowers fans, I think you'll definitely be stoked. But um, yeah, a lot of photos that I took, <laughs> I can't post them because they have things in the background and they said, please don't do that. So respectfully, uh, when the time comes for the full announcements, yeah, we'll talk more about all of that. For those of you interested, here is the barcode for Alfred when he starts to hit Target Store shelves. Remember, the Batman the Animated Series line is a Target Store exclusive, only at Target Stores. Now, prior, right, as we talked about with DC Collectibles releasing these figures years back, they did the Batcave playset, and Alfred was the exclusive figure for that set. And a lot of people didn't get that set, so it's nice to see that they are reissuing Alfred, right? A lot more people that have these figures, and maybe they'll have more of a complete collection now, which is always nice to see. For those of you wondering, there is no cell shading on Alfred. Unless something changes, unless we have another Supergirl thigh color, right? Flesh color situation again. I have been told and reassured, no, there's no cell shading on Alfred. And if you really look at it, what would they sell shade? I guess the cuffs, maybe parts of his coat. I'm actually really glad they didn't because in looking at some of the newer figures that I just got yesterday, too heavy uh, for some of the figures with the cell shading. But more on that soon. I will have a video up. Alfred comes with a ton of stuff. He's got hands. He's got everything to make Wayne Manor just sparkle. And I appreciate that. So... I definitely like that they're redoing Alfred. I think that he looks great. And I got to pick him up. I got to articulate him. He articulates just like the old figures, yada, yada. I do wish that they put uh, an extra little point of articulation in the neck so he's not so stiff looking, right? Looking up permanently because he's going to twist at the neck. It's all one piece. But again, if you're just displaying these, Alfred doesn't need to be doing cartwheels and high kicks and everything else. It's just Alfred walking around the Batcave in Wayne Manor cleaning the heck out of the places, right? So again, I really love the packaging that they did for Batman the Animated Series and knocked that out of the park. So look for Alfred, Target Store exclusive, pre-orders now. He's a holiday, winter-ish store exclusive. So you'll probably see him popping up first week of November, right? It's around that time and in throughout the month of November. So keep an eye out. And of course, I'll be posting on it when he does finally pop up. So that'll wrap it up for my look at some of the brand new, newly announced McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse and Batman the Animated Series figures. And you've heard my thoughts. And so now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything McFarlane Toys, right? It's kind of like one conglomerate. And again, like I said, more on superpowers are coming. More on Batman 66, yada, yada. I saw some cool stuff. I think... I think you guys are going to be happy. I'm, I'm stoked. So, especially with superpowers, I think people are going to be really stoked. Anyway, there's, there's a couple of DC multiverse things. Anyways, so I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, have a fantastic week. we got a busy week ahead. We're going to be looking at a ton of stuff. This is going to be a lot of fun. Stay tuned. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.